What you're looking at are two different metahuman characters. One of them was created using the more traditional sculpting method, using a lot of reference images. And the other one was made automatically. Took a bunch of pictures and we call it photogrammetry. Paying 50 cents for the reality. Capture so I can keep my sanity. Then you let the metahuman plug and solve for the identity. And that's, that's about it. Okay, and the results are great. Look at it. My nose. Woo! Skirt, skirt! I love it. In all seriousness, this tool is simply amazing. Had someone asked me if you can recreate real people using the MetaHuman Creator just six months ago, I would have told them no. But now you can get like 99% close. It's not a complete match. Just to be clear, there's still room for improvement. I had a really hard time using the mesh to MetaHuman with facial hair. Just watch. That is my nose. These are my eyebrows. There's only one small problem, because if we zoom out... Uh, I quickly realize that yes, um, that is my facial hair. It kinda looks like Thanos. Only problem being that that's not really what I look like underneath here. I might just have to shave and scan my face again. That looks really funny. That's another character that I created from a mesh. <laughs> oh no, 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 okay. I mean, clearly the, the chin is still here. That is kind of ridiculous. The rest of the head? Eh, not, not terrible. It's striking, the difference. Look at that nose. That is very much not my nose. On the topic of noses, here are some clips of older videos that have just aged terribly. Can't even make it look like my nose. They just don't have my nose. <laughs> they don't have my nose. They don't have my eyes. They don't have my eye distance. You can't make exact replicas of people with MetaHuman Creator. Unless they already kinda look like a MetaHuman themselves. 